हेलो एवरीवन आई एम ओम कृष्ण गुप्ता आई एम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट इन अजय कुमार गर्ग इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज इन दिस क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक कॉमन सोर्स एम्पलीफायर ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट एनालॉग सर्किट्स सो इन दिस क्लास फर्स्टली आई विल स्टार्ट विद द स्मॉल सिग्नल मॉडल बिकॉज दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट to understand the common source amplifier to find out the input resistance output resistance and voltage gain of the uh, any amplifier here i am uh, focusing on common source amplifier after that we will briefly uh, give the overview of the different configuration of mosfet then we'll come to the common source amplifier then we will see the circuit of common source amplifier and uh, uh, we'll find out the input resistance output resistance and voltage gain of that particular common source amplifier with the help of small signal modeling so starting with the small signal operation and models for mosfet so here firstly i am going to discuss the basic concept so this is let's say mosfet m1 now here we need to design an amplifier it means that uh, uh, we will apply the input signal at the gate terminal and we will take the output signal from the drain terminal in the common source configuration so normally when we design the amplifier for uh, audio applications there we prefer a uh, common source amplifier this thing i will discuss further right so this is small v small g small s this is the input ac signal which is to be amplified and this capital v capital g capital s uh, this is the dc voltage fine so the total voltage that uh, appears at the gate terminal of this mosfet is uh, capital v capital g capital s that is the dc quantity and small v small g small s that is the ac quantity and let's say the summation of these two terms is uh, small v capital g capital s so the total voltage which is appearing at the gate of the mosfet that is small v capital g capital s fine and uh, this is the resistance rd drain resistance that is connected at the drain terminal let's say current flowing through this drain terminal is id fine so this is the basic uh, common source amplifier without any uh, capacitor fine now see we firstly need to understand that uh, how we draw the small signal op model and what is actually the small signal fine so for any amplifier circuit if we need to calculate voltage gain input resistance output resistance these are the small signal parameters to calculate these parameters we need to draw the small signal model of that particular circuit that is called small signal analysis although we can directly apply the uh, small signal analysis on the circuits itself but here firstly we will draw the small signal model then we will uh, use some theorems that you have studied in network right and after using those theorems we will derive the expressions fine so in the starting to understand it in a better way it is recommended that draw the small signal model separately and do the analysis on, on that particular small signal model fine so this is small signal this is small signal is basically the ac signal that is the input ac signal that is very small that is coming from the uh, sensor let's say sensor from sensor so this signal is very small fine that's why in a small signal operation we remove firstly remove all the dc quantities all the dc quantities only ac is there and that ac is the ac input signal fine so in a small signal operation what we do we remove all the dc sources of the circuit first removing the dc sources means the voltage source will be short circuited and the current source will be open circuited after we remove all the dc sources then we draw the small signal model like earlier you had studied dc biasing in the dc biasing only dc components are there and uh, we found out uh, the operating point 
for the amplifier. Here we are focusing on AC analysis, small signal analysis. Fine. So, with the help of small signal analysis, the model which we draw that is called small signal model. So, here if we remove all the DC sources, it means that this capital V, capital G, capital S, it will be removed. This VDD that is the supply voltage, it will be removed. Means removing means voltage source will be short circuited. Fine. And when we do that, then what will be the circuit? Let us say uh, this is the ga gate terminal, this one is the drain terminal and uh, this one is the source terminal. Now we know that for the MOSFET, the input current, the gate current is 0. The gate current is 0 because the input impedance is very high because of that insulator in the MOSFET. Fine. It means that between gate and source, nothing will be connected because it will be open circuited because this gate current Ig will be equal to 0. Ig is 0, it means that it is open circuit. Now, between drain and source, there is a dependent source and uh, this dependent source, it will be Gm into Vgs and this Vgs is the voltage between gate terminal and source terminal. Since MOSFET, it can act as a voltage control current source. In fact, MOSFET is a voltage control device, we say, right. So, you can see that this input voltage VGS, it is controlling the output current. That output current is basically drain current ID. That is why this drain current ID, it will be equal to GM into VGS, where GM is the transconductance. So, this is the small signal uh, model of uh, this particular circuit. Here, just uh, we have uh, considered that uh, the input impedance of uh, MOSFET is infinite. That is why it is an open circuit between gate and source. So, when we draw the small signal model, so we can draw uh, by two methods. One is a hybrid pi model and another one is T model. So, this is called hybrid pi model. We can draw the T model of uh, this particular amplifier circuit also. So, we can choose uh, any one of them, but uh, it is preferred that if there is a resistance connected at the source terminal, if there is a resistance connected at the source terminal, then uh, it, it will be convenient to use T model. If there is no resistance connected at the source, uh, source terminal, then uh, it is better to draw the hybrid pi model. Although we can draw any model, it is all about convenience. Now, this is the small signal model which I have explained, this one. Now, the right side circuit, you can see that there is an additional resistance connected that is called R0. This R0 is the output resistance of the MOSFET and it is due to channel length modulation that is also called, that is also called early effect. In BJT, that channel length, uh, there is no channel length, uh, that is base width modulation. In BJT, there is early effect, that early effect is called base width modulation. In MOSFET, there is early effect. In MOSFET, this early effect is called channel length modulation. So, if we are considering channel length modulation, early effect, then we need to connect this resistance R0. Ideally, this R0 is infinite. So, if we are ignoring the early effect channel length modulation, then R0 will be infinite. So, there will be no R0. Like the left side circuit, you can see that there is no R0. It means that we have not considered early effect channel length modulation we have not considered, but the right side circuit we have considered the channel length modulation. Typically R0 is in the range of 10 kilo ohm to 1000 kilo ohm. So, obviously when we consider this R0 then the accuracy of the calculation it will be enhanced fine, but uh, in the discrete circuits when we design the discrete circuit. So, the effect of this R0 is very less. So, many times we ignore this R0 in discrete circuit, but not in IC amplifiers, because when we design uh, IC amplifiers, then this R0 plays a very crucial role. We cannot ignore that R0, but here we are uh, studying this topic from the discrete circuit point of view. So, we can, uh, we can uh, neglect this R0 also. This one is the T model. It is called T because of its shape. Then uh, you can uh, just uh, see that uh, again between uh, drain and uh, gate and source, there is a 
dependent source that is uh, voltage control current source this id is gm into vgs vgs is the voltage between uh, uh, gate and source you can see and uh, this 1 by gm it is the source resistance it is the source resistance gm is the transconductance considering gate current is equal to zero so the information which we get from the hybrid pi model and t model it is in fact same the only difference is in t model we uh, we show the resistance connected at the source terminal like in bjt when we draw the hybrid pi model we neglect that small re uh, that is the internal resistance at the emitter terminal but when we go for t model we include that re fine in bjt but in mosfet like in in uh, hybrid pi model we have not connected this resistance 1 by gm but in t model we show that source resistance that is 1 by gm so basically uh, the objective uh, of uh, uh, studying this t model and hybrid model is to perform the small signal analysis of the common source amplifier now firstly i will discuss about the common source common gate and common drain amplifier quickly so in the common source amplifier in the common source amplifier the input signal is applied at the gate terminal and uh, we take the output from the drain terminal that is common source source is common between input and output right and uh, in common gate amplifier gate is common between input and output so gate is grounded in fact like in uh, common source amplifier source is grounded we connect the source to ground in common gate amplifier gate is grounded input signal is applied at the source terminal and we take the output from the drain terminal fine and uh, in common drain amplifier in common drain amplifier drain is common input is applied at the gate terminal and we take the output and uh, we take the output from uh, the source terminal fine so just i have mentioned that uh, how we uh, apply input and uh, take the output from the mosfet in different configurations of the mosfet amplifiers right now you can see that in common source amplifier since the gate current is zero and the input signal is applied at the gate terminal it means that the input resistance of this common source amplifier it will be very high ideally the input resistance of common source amplifier it will be infinite the reason is reason is gate current is zero and uh, when we design any voltage amplifier then it is very much desirable that the input resistance should be high and output resistance should be low for voltage amplifier so from that perspective this common source amplifier is good but in common gate amplifier if you see the input is applied at the source terminal that's why the input resistance of common gate is less so when we go for any audio amplifier so we don't prefer common gate amplifier but there is one advantage of common gate amplifier one of the advantage that advantage is this common gate amplifier it can be used for high frequency applications to design high frequency amplifier because in common gate amplifier there is no miller effect in common source amplifier there is miller effect this miller effect is another topic right that you will see uh, further so this common gate is used for high frequency applications and also this common gate amplifier it acts as a current buffer so when we need to design any current buffer current follower then common gate is good right as far as common drain amplifier is concerned when we calculate the voltage gain of this common drain amplifier this voltage gain is approximately 1 it means that input voltage is equal to output voltage it means that the output at the source terminal it will follow the input voltage at the gate terminal that's why this common drain amplifier it is also referred as source follower circuit like in bjt common collector is called emitter follower similarly in mosfet common drain is called source follower and the voltage gain is one so you can think that 
if you need to design any audio amplifier, then which configuration you will choose? Common gate, we will not choose because the input resistance is low for common gate amplifier. So, it is not good thing because signal loss will be more in common gate. As far as common drain is concerned, the voltage gain is only one, it is maximum one. So, we cannot go for it also. So, we choose common source amplifier for audio applications, right. But the advantage of this common drain amplifier is uh, its input resistance is very high. Of course, input resistance will be high because again in common drain amplifier, we have applied the input signal at the gate terminal. So, whenever we apply the uh, input signal at the gate terminal, input resistance will be high because gate current is zero. That is one advantage and output resistance of this common drain is very less. That is why this common drain amplifier, it is used to connect high uh, resistance source to low resistance load in impedance matching, right. If in any application, we require lower output resistance, lower output resistance. So, for that, this common drain amplifier is good because the voltage gain will be same. It means voltage gain is 1 and uh, the input voltage will be equal to output voltage, but the output resistance will be reduced. That will be beneficial in voltage amplifiers especially, fine. So, these things I have just discussed briefly. So, here coming to the main topic that is the common source amplifier without source resistance. As I have mentioned that in common source amplifier, the input signal will be applied at the gate terminal and the output will be taken from the drain terminal. So, in common source amplifier, there are two cases. One is a common source amplifier without source resistance. It means that at the source terminal, no resistance is connected. And the another case is common source amplifier with source resistance. Means there will be a source resistance, there will be a resistance at the uh, source terminal, right. So, in this class, I am focusing on the common source amplifier without source resistance. So, without source resistance means if you are taking this MOSFET, so at the source terminal of the MOSFET, no register is connected, it will be grounded and the input signal, it will be applied at the gate terminal and output will be taken from the drain terminal, right. Now, this circuit is the common source amplifier without uh, source resistance. Here you can see that this uh, VDD is removed, uh, although VDD will be there since we are uh, performing a small signal analysis. So, VDD is removed because VDD will be short circuited because that is the DC quantity. Now, see this one is the MOSFET and VSIG is the input signal and RSIG is the internal resistance of this VSIG. And this input signal, it has been applied at the gate terminal, fine. And uh, from the drain terminal, you can see we are taking the output and the source terminal is grounded. So, this is the common source amplifier. Input is applied at the gate terminal, output is taken from the drain terminal, source is grounded. This is the basic common source amplifier, right. This drain RD is the drain resistance. And uh, we have ignored all the capacitors here, right? like uh, we can connect coupling capacitors, uh, bypass capacitors like in common emitter amplifier, common base amplifier in uh, uh, BJT amplifiers, right. Uh, but here just we are ignoring all the capacitances just for simplicity purpose. Now see, for this particular circuit, we need to calculate R in out input resistance, R out output resistance and the voltage gain. For that, we need to perform the small signal analysis. So, again I repeat, what do you mean by small signal analysis? A small signal analysis means only AC input signal will be there and no DC will be applied. DC sources will be removed. Once we do it, then we calculate the input resistance, output resistance and voltage gain. So, to perform the small signal analysis, Although we can perform directly on the circuit also, but uh, it will be better to draw the small signal model first. So, a small signal model, it can be drawn in two ways. One is hybrid pi model and the another one is T model. So, which model we will prefer? If there is no register connected at the source terminal, like in this case, you can see 
So, it is convenient to use hybrid pi model. But when we study common source amplifier with the source resistance, uh, in that case, uh, there is a register at the source terminal. So, uh, T model will be convenient. But in this case, hybrid pi model will be convenient, right? Although we can draw the T model for it, but the hybrid pi with the help of hybrid pi model, we can do the calculation in the easier way. Now, see, all the DC sources are removed. You can see that if there is a capital V, capital G, capital S, that is the DC quantity, it will be removed. Here, VDD is the supply voltage, it is removed. There is no DC quantity here. There is no current source, DC current source, no uh, DC voltage source. So, I have already given you uh, the brief idea of the hybrid pi model. Now, you can see that this VSIG is the input AC signal, RSIG is the internal resistance. So, this part is at as it is here in the small signal model because this is the AC quantity, not DC. If it is DC, it will be removed. Now, see. Since the gate current is 0 in the MOSFET, that is why this is open circuited. And the input voltage, let us say VI, this VI is equal to, let us say, VGS, gate to source voltage. And this is the dependent source that is called a voltage, uh, voltage controlled current source. And uh, this current is basically drain current ID. This current is drain current ID. Here you can see that uh, we have connected this R0. If this R naught is small r, is small r, right? Capital R is the external uh, resistance. Small r is the internal resistance. Like in the uh, BJT amplifiers, we use R pi and R e. Small r pi, small r e. These are just the notation. Not to remember. Uh, just I, I, I am mentioning these things just to avoid any confusion, right? This R naught, small r naught is the internal. R d is the external, right? So this R naught is connected. It means that we are considering the channel length modulation in our analysis. What is the advantage of uh, considering channel length modulation? Just the result will be more accurate because practically uh, there will be channel length modulation, right? And uh, this is the drain resistance RD. You can see that uh, this uh, uh, RD is connected between drain terminal and ground and you can uh, just uh, imagine that uh, this is RD register and this is the supply voltage VDD. If you are removing this VDD, it means that it will be grounded. So, so this RD resistance, it will be connected between this drain terminal and ground. So, this RD is connected between this drain terminal and ground, fine. So, a small signal model is drawn. Now, we need to calculate uh, the different parameters for it. So, to calculate the different parameters, we what we do? We will start with the input resistance. So, the value of the input resistance, it will be the value of the input resistance R in, it will be infinite because the gate current is 0. Since the gate current is 0, so input resistance is infinite because the input signal is applied at the gate terminal. Now, to calculate the output resistance, what we do? We set the input equal to 0. So, V i will be 0. To calculate the output resistance, resistance at the output side, we just uh, set input equal to 0. So, you can see that if V i is 0, then obviously V j s will be 0, then this G m into V j s will be 0. So, what will be the output resistance? Straightforward. This Rd and R0, these two registers are in parallel. So, R out resistance, it will be equal to R0 parallel to Rd. And as far as voltage gain is concerned, so to calculate the voltage gain, you can see that uh, this uh, current is Gm into Vgs. Current is Gm into Vgs. And the output voltage is V naught. So, to calculate the voltage gain, we need to uh, calculate the value of V naught upon V j s, output voltage upon input voltage. So, for that, you can see that firstly, we, uh, we are calculating the output voltage V naught. Now, output voltage V naught will be equal to current into total resistance. And the value of the current source, you can see that it is Gm into V j s. It is Gm into V j s. 
so it will be gm into vgs into total resistance total resistance is rd parallel to r not since rd and r not both are in parallel negative sign sign is coming uh, because of the current direction right so from here we can calculate the voltage gain uh, av av is equal to v not upon vgs so you can see that v not upon vgs will be equal to minus gm into rd parallel to r not here AV0 is written, AV0 is open circuit voltage gain. Open circuit voltage gain means uh, RL is infinite, load resistance is infinite. So, here you can see in the circuit also uh, no load resistance is connected. If the load resistance is connected, if the load resistance is connected, then what will happen? This RL will be here between drain and ground. So, the output resistance and this voltage gain, this voltage gain will be equal to R0 this voltage gain it will be equal to minus gm into rd parallel to r0 parallel to rl if we are uh, considering the open circuit voltage gain then this rl will be infinite rl will be open so obviously total uh, gain it will be uh, minus gm rd parallel to r0 there is no rl here there is no rl here but if we are considering the load resistance in that case that gain is called av simply av and that will be equal to minus gm rd parallel to r0 parallel to rl so here one thing we need to understand that in the expression of the voltage gain this negative sign is coming this negative sign is coming it has the significance negative sign means negative voltage gain means output is 180 degree out of phase with input output is 180 degree out of phase with input that's why this common source amplifier is referred as inverting amplifier but in the case of common gate and common drain that you will see later the voltage gain is positive so that common gate common drain are the non inverting amplifiers but, but this common source amplifier is the inverting amplifier like you have studied in bjt common emitter amplifier is the inverting amplifiers in the similar way in the mosfet common source amplifier is the inverting amplifier fine now in this particular expression of the voltage gain you can see that there is r not uh, since we have considered the channel length modulation effect but if we are neglecting the channel length modulation effect we are neglecting the early effect then what will be the exp expression that r not will be removed that uh, so the gain will be minus gm into rd because if we are neglecting the channel length modulation what does it mean it means that r not will be infinite so rd parallel to infinite actually it will be rd so finally the expression without channel length modulation the voltage gain expression is minus gm into rd so in discrete circuit amplifier once again i am repeating it in discrete circuit amplifier the role of this r0 is very less so sometimes we ignore it but in ic amplifiers in ic amplifiers we don't ignore it because r0 has a major impact on the amplifier performance so here we have calculated three parameters for common source amplifier by uh, drawing the small signal model first one is input resistance then output resistance and the voltage gain so this is the output resistance that i have already discussed rd parallel to r0 again if we are uh, ignoring the channel link modulation then the output resistance will be approximately equal to rd now you can see that if uh, we neglect this R0 channel length modulation, then the output resistance is uh, in fact uh, it is reduced, it is reduced to RD and for any voltage amplifier it is desirable, it is desirable to have lower output resistance for any voltage amplifier. So it is good if we are neglecting the channel length modulation so the output resistance is only RD, RD is less so output resistance will be less but the negative effect is that but the drawback is that if we are reducing rd to reduce the output resistance of course if rd is reduced then the R output resistance r0 will be reduced but the issue is that since we have calculated open circuit voltage gain that is minus approximately minus gm into rd so if uh, rd is reduced then uh, in this case or voltage gain av0 it will be reduced also that is not desirable that is not desirable 
So, the point is that for any voltage amplifier, of course, we want lower output resistance, of course, we want more gain. But here, when we are reducing RD to reduce the output resistance, then gain is also reducing. So, the solution is that since we are designing amplifier, the, the voltage gain should be high. So, we cannot compromise with the voltage gain, right? But we need to ensure that the output resistance should be less. For that, what we do? We just connect a source follower after common source amplifier because the impact of that uh, of that connection of the source follower will be source follower will be having lower output resistance and the voltage gain for source follower it will be approximately one that i have discussed that source follower is also called common drain amplifier so when we require lower output resistance so use source follower that will be good but we want more and more gain Obviously, the amplifier which I have discussed, it is a single stage amplifier, but if we want more gain, then we go for multi stage like two stage amplifier, three stage amplifier, four stage amplifier, depending upon the gain requirement, depending upon the application, we choose the stages of the amplifier. But if we want to design two stage and three stage, just what we do, we just uh, cascade these amplifiers, fine, that is why this is very basic, once we understand common source amplifier single stage amplifier obviously we can apply those concepts in uh, uh, multi stage amplifiers also so this is just the summary of the common source amplifier with uh, without source resistance so we have seen that the input resistance is ideally infinite since gate current is zero output resistance is moderate to high like right? fine so in order to just get the lower output resistance i have suggested you one technique that to use source follower now, this third point I have already discussed, reducing RD to lower R0 is not a good solution that I have mentioned because if we are reducing RD to lower the R0, then the voltage gain will be also reduced, right. So, what we do? Just to get a low output resistance, we use source follower stays. That source follower is called common drain amplifier. Next point is the open circuit voltage gain AV0 can be high. So, it can be used for MOS amplifier design that I have mentioned that. If we want to design any amplifier, common gate is not good since its input resistance is very less. For common drain amplifier, voltage gain is only 1, maximum 1. So, we go for common source amplifier. But the issue with the common source amplifier is the bandwidth of the CS amplifier is limited. The reason is there is a Miller effect in the common source amplifier that you will see in the frequency response of the common source amplifier. When you study a frequency response of the common source amplifier, there you will study Miller effect. That Miller effect comes in CS amplifier because of that the input capacitance is increased and due to that uh, the bandwidth is reduced. So, bandwidth is the issue in the common source amplifier and that is the advantage for common gate. In common gate, there is no Miller effect. That is why common gate amplifier can be used for high frequency applications, right. So, in this class, uh, I have discussed about uh, uh, small signal modeling, small signal analysis. Then we have uh, done the small signal analysis of the common source amplifier without source resistance and we have derived the equations for input resistance, output resistance and voltage gain. This is the reference.